second biggest city in the country, Graz is known as the culinary capital of Austria. Whether you have just one day or an entire week, I'm going to show you all the top things to do in Graz. What I love about Graz is the incredible mix of old and new. You can find beautiful red rooftops, ancient courtyards and a historic old town. But if you just cross the bridge behind me here, you've got the incredibly new feat of architecture, the Kunsthaus, which is the Museum of Modern Art and you've got an entire new area that is fast developing and becoming a very hipster part of town. On arrival in Graz, you'll notice that the city's main landmark building is the clock tower you see here behind me. It's definitely the top thing to do in Graz and you'll have to come up here to check it out. You can either take a glass elevator for 1 euro 60 or you can walk up the beautiful steps that lead up to the clock tower. It is Tuesday morning and we are here at the Graz Farmers Market which is not surprisingly in Market Square. It is held every day of the week except Sunday and Saturday is the busiest day of all and there's a really good atmosphere here and it's a really good day to visit. While the farmers market is of course a fun place to visit, I highly recommend actually buying something as these farmers are all trying to make a living. Okay, I can't remember the last time I had wine at about 9 o'clock in the morning, but I'm in Austria, I'm going to try some Sturm. Oh, it's really light, really sweet, really delicious. One of the top places to visit here in Graz is Landhaushof, which is the seat of the local government. Um, um, it's actually a really beautiful courtyard, which I'm going to show you in a second. They have a lot of festivals here, they have a lot of um, open air events, um, and once a year they have this long table event where about 700 people sit down for a meal, and the event actually starts right here in this courtyard. If your legs are getting tired from walking around and sightseeing and seeing this very beautiful city, I recommend stopping here at Frankovic. They have amazing little, cute little sandwiches, um, tiny little beers, the smallest beers I've ever seen, um, and lots of drinks and hot coffee and tea. It's a really great place to stop for a little morning break while you're sightseeing here in Graz. It's quite traditional to have these small little sandwiches as a snack. Um, so I've got smoked salmon, and pumpkin spread and prosciutto. Um, so you can have it in the morning or in the afternoon. And there's a whole counter, you can see all the different types of little um, sandwiches. They have some of the smallest beers I've ever seen. So look at the size of it. It is actually smaller than my hand, so cheers! <laughs> One place you absolutely have to visit while in Graz is the Graz Castle, which you can see a little bit here behind me. One of the most unusual architectural feats of this building is a double stone spiral staircase. It's absolutely beautiful to walk up. You can go left and right at every turn and it keeps bringing you all the way up, right up to the top of Graz Castle. If you guys are looking for a secret photo spot, one of the top photo spots here in Graz, you have to come to the top of a shopping centre. Kasna and Ola shopping centre here in the centre of Graz, an absolutely beautiful department store. And if you go up to the very top of the building, there's a gorgeous um, outdoor cafe and restaurant. And this view. It's pretty much the only place in the city that you can see the famous clock tower and the red roofs in one place. Behind me here is the island, which is a super cool bridge in the newer part of Graz. It actually links together the um, old part of Graz behind me and the new part of Graz in front of me. Uh, apparently this was just a construction that came from New York. It was only supposed to be temporary, but they loved it so much that they've left it there. And the island is actually just floating in the middle of the river. 
and then you have the two bridges that connect it to the south and the north of the river. If you want to learn more about the city of Graz, even if you are a local or a tourist visiting, um, every third Saturday of the month they have a free tour. Uh, you can see the leaflet here. Um, and it shows you all the creative areas in the city of Graz. The furniture inside the island, which is the bridge I just showed you, is all made by local designers. So right here you've got outdoor furniture designed by designers here in Graz. If you guys want to do a little bit of shopping while you're in Graz, you have to come here to Maria Hilferstrasse. Um, it has some incredible boutique stores, art galleries. Um, there's a bag store where everything is um, upcycled or recycled. Um, there's a gallery where everything is made of clay. There's a shoe shop where everything's made of rubber. It is a really unique store and you guys have to come here. If you are looking for a unique place to come and shop here in Graz, you can come here to Lendwirbel. Um, they sell authentic products that are handmade in Nepal. Welcome to our hemp and unicorn paradise. <laughs> so all the people that produce these items that we have here, we know them, they live in Nepal, they, they make a very nice income out of that. Like, Hi, I'm Diana from Dark Days of Summer and we are a vintage store and we started online uh, four years ago but since 2017 we have a shop here in Graz and yeah in three weeks we move to a bigger location. So you can see a really cool uh, store here in Graz called Tadwerk which means actually the daily production, daily work and they produce um, bags here, all kinds of bags made out of old materials. It's kind of upcycling and it's also a social project for young people to give them a new perspective and a new um, yeah, thing to look on to. Tag has also the name of the designer. So Vivian designed it. Everything in this shop has been upcycled or made from recycled materials. So these bags, for example, are made from the posters that were used for Eurovision in Vienna a few years ago. So on our tour of Graz yesterday, our very cool guide brought us to the new area of Graz, which is where we are right now. And he recommended us to come to this restaurant called Bungalow. They're pretty famous for their burgers, so that is what me and Nina have decided to try today. Okay, the burger is pretty massive and it's kind of dripping all off my hand. But uh, it tastes nice. Mm. Right. It's really good. We are here in one of the most famous bakeries in Graz and we are about to taste the famous Graz cake. It has raspberry, nougat and chocolate inside. It was made to celebrate 10 years of Graz as a culinary capital and now I'm about to taste it. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed my video about the top things to do in Graz. Please, if you like it, thumbs up and leave a comment.